हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज 80386 डेसिमल अरिथमेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शंस डेसिमल अरिथमेटिक इज परफॉर्म बाय कंबाइनिंग द बाइनरी अरिथमेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शंस विद द डेसिमल अरिथमेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शंस द डेसिमल अरिथमेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शंस आर यूज्ड टू एडजस्ट द रिजल्ट ऑफ प्रीवियस बाइनरी अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशन टू प्रोड्यूस अ वैलिड पैक्ड और अनपैक्ड डेसिमल रिजल्ट सो इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पैक्ड बीसीडी एडजस्टमेंट इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड अनपैक्ड बीसीडी एडजस्टमेंट इंस्ट्रक्शंस लेट अस स्टार्ट वेलकम टू आवर चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर यू इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफिकेशंस फॉर आवर फ्यूचर वीडियोस लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन द डेसिमल अरिथमेटिक is performed by combining the binary arithmetic instructions which we have discussed in the previous video so here only the decimal arithmetic instructions are used for adjusting the result of previous binary arithmetic operation to produce a valid packed or unpacked decimal result so to adjust the inputs to subsequent binary arithmetic operation so that operation will be produce a valid packed or unpacked decimal result so this is done before division so thus this instructions operate only on al and ah registers of 80386 and mostly use the auxiliary flag and sometimes they will use the carry flag now before we start with the instructions let us understand what is packed bcd and unpacked bcd here you have to understand packed and unpacked bcd packed bcd occurs when two bcd digits are stored per memory byte so as you can see here in the table so 1 2 now this is when we are storing it as 00010010 that means it is packed bcd now if you store it in two memory locations or one digit you are storing per byte that means here 00000001 and then here you are storing 00000010 that is 2 so this is the unpacked bcd so unpacked bcd will have one digit stored per byte whereas packed bcd here it will have two bcd digits stored per byte so that is the basic difference between packed and unpacked so here are other examples say 1 2 3 now here one will be taking one byte and 2 3 will take the other byte in packed bcd whereas in unpacked bcd so one will have one byte then two will have another byte and three will have another byte then next 1 2 3 4 so here 1 2 will take one byte and 3 4 will take another byte in packed bcd whereas in unpacked bcd one will take one byte and two will take another byte three will take another byte and four will take so in this way a valid bcd means packed bcd or unpacked bcd so if it is unpacked bcd it should have one digit stored per byte and if it is packed bcd should have two digits stored in one byte so you have to understand this then only you'll be able to understand the instructions then let us go to the packed bcd adjustment instructions so the first instruction in this is da that is decimal adjust after addition so this instruction adjust the result of adding two valid packed bcd operands in the al register and that's why the da instruction 
should be used after the addition of two pairs of packed bcd numbers to obtain pair of valid bcd decimal digits as result it will be used only after the some add instruction so let us take example so here move al54 so this will load 54 into the al register then move bl26 this will load 26 into the bl register then we use the instruction add al comma bl this will add these two and the result will get in al will be 7a because 4 plus 6 is a 5 plus 2 is 7 this will perform the hexadecimal addition now this 7a now this is not a valid bcd number so we use the instruction da so it will adjust the result in bcd that means what it will do it will add 6 to 7a so we'll get the result 8 so the result of bcd addition 54 plus 26 is nothing but 8 so this is how the decimal adjust after addition da instruction will work now here the flags sign flag zero flag auxiliary carry flag parity flag and cf that is the carry flag are affected but the overflow flag is undefined because this is not signed arithmetic then let us go to the next that is das decimal adjust after subtraction now this adjusts the result of subtracting two valid packed bc uh, packed decimal operands again it will use the al register das instruction must follow the subtract instruction and here we are going to use the the if the carry flag is set if borrow is needed and the all the flags are affected and it does and the state of overflow flag is undefined the result of subtraction is in al register and if the lower nibble of al is greater than 9 then 06 will be subtracted from the lower nibble of al and if the result of subtraction sets the carry flag or if the upper nibble is greater than 9 then 60 will be subtracted from so in this way it will adjust the result so that we get packed decimal then let us go to the next there is unpacked bcd adjustment instructions so here we have first instruction ascii adjust after addition a a a so that is uh, will change the contents of al register to a valid unpacked decimal number and it will clear the upper four bits and this instruction must follow the addition of two unpacked decimal operands in al register so again if the cf flag is set and the contents of ah register are incremented if the carry occurs so let us go to the example add two unpacked bcd numbers 0509 now see when we say unpacked bcd numbers we have to take them as 05 and 09 so it will have the digits will have it one digit per byte so here only the digits are 5 and 9 they are to be added so now when we add this we are going to get 0 e in hexadecimal as a result that will be stored in al so now here lower nibble that is this e is greater than 9 so al will be incremented by 6 and h is incremented by 1 so this is the effect of 
ए ए ए इंस्ट्रक्शन आस्की एडजस्ट आफ्टर एड तो हिंस द कंटेंट ऑफ ए एल विल बी जीरो फोर बिकॉज वी आर एडिंग सिक्स टू दिस जीरो ई वी आर गोइंग टू गेट जीरो फोर एंड ए एच इज इंक्रीमेंटेड बाई वन सो दैट्स वाई ए एच विल बी जीरो वन सो द रिजल्ट वी गेट इज जीरो वन जीरो फोर That is nothing but fourteen. So five plus nine. If you take the result is fourteen, but it is unpacked this year. That's why the digits of fourteen they will have a two bytes, zero one and. Then let us go to the next one. ASCII adjust after subtraction. So AAS. So this is. will change the contents of al register to a valid unpacked decimal number and clear the upper four bits so again must follow the subtraction instruction of the unpacked decimal operands and again the cf flag is set and the contents of ah are decremented if the borrow is needed now let us go to the example here the result of subtraction in al is unpacked decimal number so if the lower nimble of al is greater than 9 or the auxiliary carry flag is set al will be decremented by 6 and ah is decremented by 1 this will happen if the carry flag and auxiliary carry flag they are set to 1 and if they are set to 0 then the result does not need any so it will remain as and the result will be available in the ah and al so ah will be zero in that case and al will have any valid number then the next instruction is aam ascii adjust after multiplication now in this case this instruction aam corrects the result of multiplication of two valid unpacked decimal numbers so again it must follow the multiplication instruction of two decimal numbers to produce a valid decimal result so the upper digit is left in the ah register and the lower digit is in the al register so when we multiply two 8 bit numbers the result will be 16 bit the msb will be in the ah register and the lsb will be in the al register again the same sign zero parity flags are affected and the state of auxiliary carry overflow and carry flag is undefined so let us take example so move al 05 then move pl 05 so we are multiplying 5 by 5 and the result will be 25 so then we use the instruction mul cl so this will multiply perform the multiplication of 05 and 05 and after this we use the instruction aam to adjust the result in bcd so after this instruction ah will have 0 to al will have 05 here this 0 to and 05 both are valid unpacked bcd so Zero five zero five. This is unpacked BCD, and we are getting the result as zero two zero five, which is again unpacked BCD. So in this way, the AM instruction will be used. Then next we have the ASCII adjust before division. So here the adjustment is done before the operation, that is division operation. So it modifies the numerator in the AH and AL register to prepare for the division of two valid unpacked decimal operands, so that the quotient produced by division will be a valid unpacked decimal number. So again, here AH register should contain the upper digit and AL register should contain the lower digit. So the instruction adjusts the value and place the result in al register h register will be here or zero 
So let us take example. Move BL09 and move AX0702. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to divide 72 by 9. So uh, 9 is in BL register and 0702 that is 72 which is an unpacked PCD. It is in the AX register. Now before the division we have to use the AAD instruction. ASCII adjust before division. So once we use this and then uh, use the div instruction div bl so we'll get the result of division so here al will have 0 8 and ah will have 0. so in this way now this 0 0 is a valid unpacked bcd and 0 8 is valid unpacked bcd so when we are trying to divide unpacked bcd by unpacked bcd the result has to be unpacked bcd so with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications directly for our future video then thanks for watching. Have a nice day.